वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू द मेन इवेंट वेयर वी आर कंपेयरिंग दीज थ्री लेजेंड्स कल्ट पेन्स आई नो दे हैव देयर ओन बिग फैन फॉलोइंग एंड इट्स ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल टू कंपेयर कंपेयर द एक्सपीरियंस विद दीज थ्री बिग कल्ट पेन्स बट देन वॉट इफ यू हैव टू चूज बिटवीन वन ऑफ देम फॉर द सेक ऑफ ओनिंग ओनली वन ओके सो the these are the the big size pens with uh, a nib uh, which is in a mont blanc 11 and 28 mm so if you are choosing a pen with a big girth and a big nib how to simplify your choice down to single pen obviously there would be a verdict at the end but then that verdict would be mine and uh, uh, as we've seen that choices differ so everyone would have uh, entitlement to their own opinion but here is what i think if we boil down to comparing uh, these three pens which are uh, which are basically uh, great uh, great craftsmanship uh, in their own making so mont blanc 149 um, uh, i haven't yet reviewed the pen it has been with me for quite some time um it's a cigar shaped pen and uh, you've uh, seen the finial the typical six valleys uh, six peaks mont blanc uh, this is in black uh, resin obviously mont blanc 149 uh, is uh, production in uh, only one uh, uh, only one uh, color and here you have a sailor kop this is a pro gear you have you can have sailor pro uh, sailor uh, kop which is in cigar shape almost Uh, comes to a twin of Mont Blanc 149, and then you also have a, a KOP Ebonite, which is without the trims, and then you have a Pelican M 1000. Uh, this one is again uh, available in only the green stripes. So, uh, what basically uh, would matter at the end is how you rate the. the the pen in this heft because you will be writing uh, uh, some pretty long sessions with this uh, if you are actually comparing these pens secondly what is the writing experience with the pens and thirdly the overall functionality what i've typically left out is the aesthetics because uh, these two pens are coming in only one particular look uh, whereas you have <clears throat> a kop uh, which can mass squander in different clones so uh, i have for for a broader perspective i've read uh, left the aesthetics out but uh, as you can see that uh, all of three are uh, very beautiful pens so first of all uh, i'll put to use the mont blanc 149 a great pen it's got a gorgeous nib a two tone nib and all of the th three pens are sporting uh, a medium uh, nib tipping the ink for all the pen is colorvers morning star second i have inked a sailor kop and third would be a pelican so 
so there you have all the three pens with the kind of writing experience with them all of the three are very wet nibs the size comparison of the tipping is almost identical for the two and slightly broader for uh, pelican m1000 now comparing uh, the the nibs in the three pin i found that uh, the pelican m1000 has a slightly slight feedbacky very smooth and uh, a kind of a springy nib uh, which gives uh it's which gives a very good feel while writing and it doesn't really cramp your hands for long writing sessions momblanc has a good nib it's very wet but it's a bit stubby uh i no no not stubby it's a bit stiff so uh, you won't have uh, a lot of spring effect with this I found myself having a bit of pain uh, on the low part of my forearm if I was using this pen for pretty long time. As such, I found uh, this to have slightly more weight than the others because this is a dense resin, and the other one ag again, although they are again acrylic uh, uh, plastic pens, but uh, the weight of the pens I found uh, to be on the lighter side for the other ones. Coming to Sailor Kyopi, this has the feedback which is uh, the highest amongst the other three. The nib is very juicy. It has again a very good spring effect. So if I have to rate uh, the quality of the nibs and the wetness, I think uh, I am choosing a bit of springiness over uh, stiffness, and uh, so I feel that these two pens are writing uh, very well. Obviously, no points deducted from. um mom blank because uh, it's a personal choice many pens uh, many people would like uh, the pen to be performing um uh, to be writing with slightly uh, sturdier now um the girth of these two pen of the pens are identical so the the grip is sort of identical for a mom blank uh, as well as a sailor while it's slightly narrower for a pelican but what i like about the pelican grip is that uh, for a good distance from the paper the nib provides that this slight indentation and then flaring out is is very good to hold and gives a very assuring firm grip which i found was slightly better than a kop so uh, here i would again as a as a flow chart i would uh, rate this slightly above the kop now the final thing which i found uh, about the uh, about the performance was regarding the filling mechanism as you can see that this is a piston filler would hold more than about an ml of milk uh, an ml of ink and uh, a pelican again would have a very good amount of ink while a kop it's a fuel guzzler uh, it just lays down a very wet line but at the end of the day you you can just squeeze in about uh, uh, about a day's work in this pen uh, and the other problem uh, which i found with this pen was it's a cartridge converter pen many a times uh, this this wet line which this pen has laid it starts uh, starts drying up over a period of the day and you have to actually prime the nib this pen was not performing very well out of the box the nib had to be changed either the feed had to be changed so that the the initial skipping of this pen uh, improved then again the pelican nibs are uh, pretty inconsistent so overall uh, but the medium width is generally a medium width although fine extra fine or broad may uh, may have very different experience with different units so consistency is a issue with this pen while out of the box the least the one which requires any tinkering is mont blanc you are very sure to buy um, what you expect out of a mont blanc purchase um, but this is expensive and uh, the second one is kop and the third would be pelican because um, this is almost uh, i say 20 30% more expensive than a pelican m1000 so uh, how do we finally 
come to a conclusion well i think that if you are owning a pen you would have at least a bit of maintenance pen maintenance and tuning kit with you so fixing a a, a bit of uh, ink, ink issues or baby bottoms on this pen was not a big deal feed issues on kop are again a, a big uh, problem and those things cannot be tinkered at home uh, these problems do not arise with uh, pelican or m uh, pelican or uh, montblanc 149 so overall i would rate uh, the best in my opinion would be pelican 1000 because of the filling mechanism the the beautiful grip um, the writing experience the the nib which is uh, pretty juicy and it is uh, it is uh, very pretty springy and over a long writing se- uh, sessions uh, it really holds up to the promise Mm, i uh, we had a small poll in our uh, telegram group amongst the fountain pen th- enthusiasts and uh, um, well some uh, sort of uh, they also everyone echoed the same uh, flavor uh, the choice between uh, montblanc and pelican was spoiled because they they actually been voted equally and the kop came distinct second because these two were the first choice so i would i would rate them according to my choice would be uh, first then i would rate second and then third uh, the nib is performing better on a kop than montblanc but then the filling mechanism um, is not a consistent performer through the day so there you have it a bit extensive review with a fairly different intro hope you like it what is your choice please let me know and your points of consideration uh, in having that particular choice see ya